Yolink Speaker Hub Video Setup and User Guide. Part A. Thank you, contact us, and support. Thank you for purchasing Yolink products. We appreciate you trusting Yolink for your smart home and automation needs. We strive to make Yolink products easy to install and set up and easy to use. And your 100% satisfaction is our goal. If you experience any problems with your installation, with our products, or if you have any questions that this manual does not answer, please contact us right away. We are here for you if you ever need any assistance installing, setting up, or using a Yolink product or the app. Please email us 24-7 at service at yosmart.com. Visit our website at yosmart.com and click support near the top. Or click chat with us on the right side. Call us at 949-825-5958, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Time, Irvine, California. If you reach our automated attendant, please leave a message and we'll call you back as soon as possible. Finally, if you have any feedback or suggestions for us, please email us at feedback at yosmart.com. Thank you for trusting Yolink. Eric Vanzo, Customer Experience Manager. Part B, Introduction. Yolink hubs are the gateway to the internet for your Yolink devices. As opposed to many smart home systems, the individual devices are not on your network or Wi-Fi and are not directly connected to the internet. Instead, your devices communicate with the hub, which connects to the internet, the cloud server, and the app. Like most IoT and home automation devices, your speaker hub connects only to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. Nearly all residential Wi-Fi routers have a 5 and a 2.4 GHz band, but your router may use the same SSID, Wi-Fi network name, for both, and it may attempt to steer 2.4 GHz devices to the 5 GHz band in which case you may need to take additional steps to properly connect the 2.4 GHz. You will need to know the name of and password for your Wi-Fi network. If the Wi-Fi router has an app, or if you can make settings changes to your router, it may be beneficial to have the app and login info handy. You can have multiple hubs, including a combination of our original hub and your new speaker hub. While the Yolink wireless network has a quarter-mile open-air range, additional hubs may be required in large buildings, such as high-rises and or to support thousands of devices. Part C. Before you begin. Place your speaker hub at a location where you can hear the speaker clearly, at a moderate volume level. Rather than setting the volume at or near maximum, we recommend adding additional speaker hubs set at a moderate level. This will result in a more even sound level coverage and improved voice intelligibility. Place your speaker hub in a suitable dry indoor environment. Avoid placing your speaker hub inside a cabinet, on or near metal, magnets, or sources of radio or electromagnetic energy or interference such as radio transmitters, as well as other Wi-Fi equipment. Part D, what's in the box? Quick start guide. Speaker hub. USB cable, micro B. AC adapter. Please recycle. Part E, get to know your speaker hub. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with your new speaker hub, in particular the LED behaviors and set button functions. Feature status LED, slow blinking green once indicates an action ran successfully. Blinking red once then green once indicates a successful startup. This LED is normally off. Wi-Fi status LED. Solid blue indicates the speaker hub is connected to the internet. Blinking blue indicates Wi-Fi settings are being changed. 
This LED is normally solid blue. Power status LED. Blinking green indicates the speaker hub is connected to power. This LED is normally blinking green. This speaker hub is on and online and in a normal state. Volume up button. Volume down button. Set button. The set button has numerous functions. You will be directed to press the set button during speaker hub setup. It is used to initially start up a new device and it can be used to initiate a firmware update and to perform a factory reset. Speaker outlet holes. USB power port. Part F, power up the speaker hub. One, power up the speaker hub by connecting and plugging in the USB cable and power adapter as shown. Two, before proceeding to the next step, verify the green power LED is blinking. Part G, install the Yolink app. One, if you are new to Yolink, please install the app on your phone or tablet if you have not already. Otherwise, please proceed to Part I. Two, from the appropriate app store, search for Yolink. Three, refer to the Yolink app listing example below. Follow the instructions to install the app. Before creating an account, here are good to know things. There are two types of accounts, administrator and member. When you initially set up an account, you will be the administrator of your account and a home will be automatically created. For example, if your username is Andrew123, a home will be created named Andrew123's home. You can invite others to share your account, making them home users or members of your account. 1. Open the app. A pop-up message will ask for permission to send notifications as shown below. Tap Allow. 2. Tap Sign up for an account. 3. Provide your email address, your desired username, and password, then tap Sign up for an account. receive an automated welcome email. Please add the domain yosmart.com as a safe sender to ensure you receive important messages from us in the future. 4. If you're not automatically logged into your new account, log in using your new credentials. 5. A short automatic tour of the app layout will be given. Tap the highlighted item to advance the tour to the next item until it is complete. Your app screen should be similar to this one. If not, tap the Favorite or Rooms icon. To add a device, you can tap the QR code scanner button or the Add Device button, if visible. 1. Tap Add Device. Approve app access to your camera, if requested. Part I. Add the speaker hub to your account. If you experience difficulty scanning in a new device, ensure the code is not dirty or smudged and that the camera has adequate lighting. If you are still unable to scan a device, please make a note of the serial number for your customer support staff. This is the number right below the QR code, a long number preceded by S slash N. Two. Place a speaker hub with the QR code facing up inside the scanner viewfinder as shown. If the speaker hub was successfully scanned, the Add Device screen appears as shown. In this screen, you will give your device a name, assign it to a room, and mark it as a favorite.
These will be covered in detail in another video. 3. Tap Bind Device. Four, tap close. Five, if successful, this screen will be displayed. Tap done. Do not tap set up Wi-Fi connection at this time. Part J, prepare to connect to Wi-Fi. The speaker hub must be connected to the internet via Wi-Fi to function. Several steps should be taken beforehand to ensure a smooth connection process. 1. You must know the SSID and password of the Wi-Fi network the speaker hub will connect to. 2. The speaker hub requires a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection. Most routers have a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band, but use the same SSID for both. If you're not familiar with your Wi-Fi, familiarize yourself with the settings now. 3. Because some routers will attempt to steer 2.4 GHz devices to 5 GHz, you may need to make changes in the router app. For example, temporarily disabling the 5 GHz band using the router's phone app or browser app. 4. If you're not familiar with the Wi-Fi network, please take a moment to identify the SSID that the speaker hub should connect to. Go to the Wi-Fi settings in your phone. 5. Review the Wi-Fi networks. Of those, if there are multiple SSIDs, look for information in the SSID names such as 5 or 24, which can be used to identify the 2.4 GHz network. 5. In these next steps, you will press and hold the set button for more than 5 seconds until the blue Wi-Fi LED flashes quickly. This puts the speaker hub in hotspot mode. You will then go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings to log in to the speaker hub's hotspot. These steps must be performed promptly as hotspot mode will expire, requiring the process to be restarted. When you then return to the app, if it resets back to the room screen, repeat the steps to return to the correct screen. Part K, connect to Wi-Fi. 1. From the Rooms or Favorites screen, tap the Speaker Hub icon. 2. Tap the Wi-Fi icon. 3. As directed, hold the Set button until the Wi-Fi LED flashes. 4. Log into the Speaker Hub hotspot. Disregard any messages about no internet connection. 5. If requested, grant access to your phone's location data, also known as location services. This is required for the initial Wi-Fi connection. You can select Allow Once. 6. If you do not grant this access, you will get an error message. If so, tap Close, then Grant Access to Location. 7. To check or edit location settings, follow the instructions below. Tap the Yolink icon to view or edit the settings. Select Precise Location, if applicable. 8. Clear any error messages by tapping Close. This message will appear if the hotspot login steps take too long. Even if you get an error message like this, proceed to the confirmation step. After connecting to the hotspot, tap the confirmation checkbox to check it, then tap continue. Ten, enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password, then tap continue. Eleven, this screen is displayed if the connection is successful. Tap done. Twelve, you are returned to the room screen. You can now scan additional new devices, if applicable, or you can configure speaker hub message settings, etc. This concludes the speaker hub video user guide. We hope you found this guide helpful. Please contact us if we can ever be of assistance.
For more information, review the full printed user guide or visit the Yolink Academy area of our YouTube channel or visit our customer support area at yosmart.com. Thank you.